Aaron here, Curls in the Rack. Today we're going to go over the Slinger Trolley Conversion. And this is not something that I came up with, but I did see it on Instagram, or actually a subscriber reached out to me, good looking out, and let me know of this. And I looked it up and said, hey, I have all the pieces to accomplish this. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and make a tutorial on complete in real time. I just sped it up to 175 just so you can see literally how to accomplish this. There's two different versions. There's one that utilizes the trolley and the uh, upright and it slides up and down. And there's another one that utilizes the arm of the trolley. So I'm gonna make that one and do that on another video. I have the longer trolley arm, so those aren't, those aren't gonna work for that, but I'm gonna make some short ones and we're actually gonna see how those work and hold up out of wood having the shorter ones. So therefore you can have the shorter ones and the long ones, but anyways, back to this. I went ahead and looked it up and said, ah, okay, I'll accomplish this, and then I'll record it for people just in case they're more of a visual learner. And uh, so let's go ahead and get to the footage, and at the end of the video, I'll go over if I think this is a viable option, why you would wanna even do this, uh, and who this maybe is for. So let's get to the footage.
All right, guys, as you can see in the video, the thing actually functions pretty well. It slides up and down the rack real smooth. You're definitely going to want to make sure that you put a pin underneath the trolley handle because uh, if you don't, it's either going to smash down into your, into your seat here or it's going to put a lot of tension on that cable. All the weight's going to be sitting uh, right on the cable pulling up through the top of the slinger there. So keep that in mind, put a pin underneath this right at the bottom part. Um, but that being said, I don't know why you would really want to do this. If you have the plate loaded version or you have the weight stack version, why take a part of trolley to then you can't even use your trolley uh, unless you put it back together and nobody wants to do that every day. Uh, I don't know why you would want to do this. I could see maybe if you had the band version and you just weren't getting enough tension on the bands that you had, you could do this conversion and there essentially you have a, the plate loaded version uh, and you can load it up really heavy to do heavy pull downs. That, that would be the only person I, could, I would see uh, wanting to do this. Uh, that being said, I think that this is more of a shout out to Rogue. Like, hey, look what your trolley can do. Why don't you guys get to work over there and uh, figure out something cool. So that's my, that's my two cents on it. And I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what two things I use to accomplish this if you wanted to do this. All right, guys. So I'm going to assume that you already have the slinger and the trolley because you're definitely going to need those to, to do this. But the only other two things that I have here are uh, this is a, just a pipe that I got from Home Depot. It was, I didn't even have to have it cut. It was already like this. This uh, measurements are, it's a half inch by 24 inch pipe. Uh, I just put some, um, some duct tape, duct tape. I put some electrical tape around it just so it wouldn't uh, touch any of the metal inside and, and sort of scrape because I want to be able to use the trolley again. So I don't want to damage that. And then uh, this guy right here, this is the Spud Ink landmine piece put the weights over it and then you clip it on and you do your pull downs or whatnot. Uh, but this piece, any strap that's really heavy made nice that will be able to be loop through. So that way you can make a loop that the pipe goes through, you'll be able to use. So just got to get creative on that aspect of it. Okay. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video that there's another version of this thing where it utilizes the trolley that's already set up with the arm still attached and it utilizes the arm, uh, add weight to the arm, you attach the slinger to the arm and it does the pulling, which is better I think because then you don't have to take it apart. But unfortunately, I only have the super long, um, I believe they're 45, 48, 48 uh, inch long arms. So they're not gonna fit inside my rack and I need to be inside my rack to do that. So I, if you haven't seen my DIY uh, Frankenstein rack, I make three by three upright. So what I'm gonna do is, and I've already cut these three by three and shaved them down to 35 inches long, which is what the shorter arms are. I'm gonna actually make some slinger arms, which I wanted to do anyways, just to see if they would function well so I could do some stuff inside of the rack and not have to be outside of the rack with the longer ones. But what I'll do first is I'll cut this thing and then I will, um, I'll put all the holes in it. We'll do one and then I will show you guys the other um, option on the next video. So until next time, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.